Hello, this is Chris Menard. Today I want to discuss Microsoft Office 2013 versus Microsoft Office 365. People ask me what's the difference all the time. If you want to go get Microsoft Office 2013, which is their latest version, you can go to Office Depot, uh, Staples, wherever you want to and purchase it, or you can download it from their website. You can see that it costs almost 400 bucks and then you can go and put it on one machine and you own it. It is yours forever. If you get Office 365 and to get to this website all I did was Google Microsoft Office 365 Home because they have a business version also to so do home. You can pay either monthly, you can pay for the year and save a little bit of money or you can even try it for free. But what's nice is you notice right over here you can put it on five machines so you can have it uh, your spouse or significant other can have it your kids can have it plus you can put it on your iPad your Android phone I'm going to go ahead I went ahead and paid for the annual and I'll show you what happens so the minute I paid for it I got an email I clicked on it it let me download Microsoft Office so you still get Microsoft Office you're just subscribing for it for the year. When I click on File, Account, and I could even do this from Microsoft Word, it wouldn't matter. So here's what comes with Microsoft Office 365. These programs, Word, PowerPoint, Publisher, Access, Excel, OneNote. What's also nice is during my subscription, Office 2016 is coming out in just a couple months. I will get it for no extra charge. So when Office 2016 comes out, I'll get a notice and it'll say, do you want to upgrade? And I say yes, and it's free. So I've already paid for my one year subscription. If I click manage account, a web browser opens. I've already typed in my username and password, I believe. So I'm going to click on install to the left. Karen, there's my wife's machine. I've installed it on her machine. Here's my desktop. So I could install it on three more machines at my house. Also, you can put it on your iPad, your Android phone. You can have five different users. Each user gets one uh, terabyte of their cloud storage called OneDrive. That is a lot. That's a thousand gigs. You'll get an email so you can also come to this account and manage this. So it's very easy to use. If you think about the price difference, let me just jump back to this web page. If I pay 400 bucks for Office 2013 and put it on one machine, it's great that I own it forever. But as soon as Office 2016 comes out, like I said in a couple months, then I want it. I could either pay the upgrade fee, but still it's only on one machine. So for the $99 for one year, for the five machines, plus the iPad and the tablets and the Android phone, to me it's a better deal. And one last thing is when you have the OneDrive account, which I'm going to do a video on, whenever you save your file, you've got that 1,000, yeah, you can see it says OneDrive right here. And once you save to OneDrive, it's available on all your devices, so your files are always with you. So hopefully that clears up Office 365 versus the Microsoft Office 2013. And my recommendation is if you have two or more machines, just go ahead and pay for Office 365 subscription. Thank you.